Example problem 14 reads, a physical scientist is studying the molecular properties of the element potassium. The scientist only has 3 grams of potassium in inventory, and he needs 4.27 times 10 to the second particles to complete his study. Does the scientist have enough potassium to complete his study? So we're told that we have 3 grams of potassium and that the scientist needs 4.27 times 10 to the second particles or atoms of potassium since it's a single element to complete a study. So we need to convert from grams to atoms and that is not a one-step conversion, that's a two-step conversion and you always need to go to moles as an intermediate because remember grams and atoms are treated like something with a prefix would be treated in the metric system and moles is treated like a base unit would be in the metric system. So we need to draw our multiplication symbol, draw our division bar, bring grams of potassium down and go to moles of potassium first. Then we can go from moles of potassium to atoms of potassium to determine if the scientist can complete the study. So you'll need a periodic table for this next part. In one mole, you'll need to determine where uh, potassium is on the periodic table. It's element number 19 and there's 39.10, so 39.1 grams in one mole. And so in one mole, there are always 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of anything. In this case, it is potassium, okay? So in your calculator, you should type three divided by 39.1 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. And so your final answer will be 4.618, so 4.62 times 10 to the 22 atoms of potassium. And so 4.27 times 10 to the second in Regular notation, not in scientific notation, is 427. 427. So the number 4.62 times 10 to the 22nd is going to be a really, really big number. So you can imagine how we got 427 is 4.27 times 10 to the second it would go one, two, and so that would be 427. So imagine 4.62 times 10 to the 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, et cetera, et cetera. I don't have enough space on the page to go 22 out, and each one of these would be filled with zeros all the way down. So I would say that the scientist has plenty of potassium in inventory to complete his study because that is a lot of atoms of potassium and he only needs 427. So the answer is yes, the scientist does have enough in inventory to continue the study. So thanks and let me know if you have any questions about example problem 14.